to the Foreign Minister of Ecuador, Jose. The floor is yours. Jan Eve for organizing. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Heiko, and uh, hi, Jan Eve for organizing this meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, the COVID 19 crisis is a wake up call for multilateralism. As we well know, multilateralism is the common response of nations to problems and situations that need to be addressed collectively. We, of course, do not face the same scenario that prevailed in the wake of the establishment of the United Nations 75 years ago. Yet, the means and goals of multilateral action and the UN remain unchanged. To jointly take action to prove that together we can tackle the challenges we currently confront. On June 12, 2020, 152 states, including Ecuador, called for global action to fight the infodemic. The United Nations Secretary General had appealed for a healthier, more equitable states, including Ecuador, called for global action to fight the infodemic. The United Nations Secretary General had appealed for a healthier, more equitable, just and resilient world during this time of COVID-19. We share Mr. Guterres's views, which are rightly applied to a very sensitive issue, truth and information in the middle of the pandemic. Ecuador is committed to creating an adequate information environment at all levels. Fake news, the epidemic of current times, need a multilateral effort to be countered by scientific, evidence-based information and facts. It's not just a matter of avoiding the ill-oriented distortion of reality, but in the end, what we should protect is the fundamental right of every individual to information and communication. Thus, in, discuss in discussing the infodemic situation, we must address how the use of technologies can enhance democracy and protect fundamental freedoms online. In this regard, I wish to stress the following points. First, our citizens should remain at the core of the discussions. States must promote respect for human rights as well as the individual's privacy and safety online. Second, freedoms online. In this regard, I wish to stress the following points. First, our citizens should remain at the core of the discussions. States must promote respect for human rights as well as the individual's privacy and safety online. Secondly, global action and a multi-stakeholder approach is needed. States cannot deal alone with this problem in isolation. We need to reach ICT's companies, academia, the scientific community, and media and journalists from all the regions. Finally, we must remain committed to the achievement of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Goals. Equitable access to ICT's, TICs, and transparent and accessible data is today even more critical. We must also consider the differentiated impact of the infodemic in developing countries and different population groups. Ecuador is bound up to the achievement of these collective aims as it remains committed to multilateral action to address the international challenges that we all face at the present and may encounter in the future. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias a todos. Thank you very much, uh, Jose. And now I give the floor to the Foreign Minister of India.